Yeah, she goes. She's got some power. Oh yeah, very, very nice power. Good morning everybody welcome back to peter's auto vlog today being january 2nd i want to wish everybody a happy new year hope everybody have a great holiday season and i wish everybody the best for this new 2023 year here you guys in front of us today we are going to get to drive and review this 2023 chevrolet silverado 2500 hd high country model very very excited guys to get behind the wheel of this awesome duramax powered 6.6 liter v8 powered silverado right, i just so want to give a big I'll shout out to barto for allowing me some time with this high country heavy duty model basically their competition obviously they have this in their inventory lot this is a slightly used 2023 it's a high country 2500 this has only got about 4500 miles to it uh, but it is a 2023 guys and it looks just awesome to have this this opportunity to get to drive this truck but a big a big uh, shout out to Barto Ford for allowing me some time to Tim and Randy as well so all right guys continuing guys so as you can see guys this is a 2023 high country basically the top trim level you can get on a heavy duty truck this is an awesome some truck as you can see guys this has got all kinds of chrome bronze accents we got the of course the hood scoop there as you can see led lighting for if it's fog lights for high beams for low beams as you can see guys we got the high country logo here as well for this chevrolet travel so this is really nice i mean this is a you know this model has been with us this being the fourth generation chevrolet silverado this truck has been with us since 2020 since that was the last time we were really designed so a lot of people were kind of controversial of saying ah, i don't really like the front it's kind of really weird looking but i like it it's kind of very macho looking you know kind of goes with the big you know truck of this you know nature of this trucks you know it can really really cool so as you can see guys a lot of chrome accents here as well that part of this high country uh, trim is basically all the front bumpers are painted body color as you can see not only here at the front but also in the rear we got all kinds of sensors we got a big chevy bottom as well and as you can see guys there's a the bronze trim as well that comes with this high country models now coming around guys you can see guys really awesome the way this truck is let's go actually around to show you that that we have the sun on our side here coming on, on this side over here guys you can see got the nice 20 inch wheels which is these are basically the wheels that come with the high country now now this one here guys is equipped with the c71 off-road road package and also the high country deluxe package as well now the deluxe package kind of gives you more interior stuff you know the, the the camera system all kinds of things uh more of a technical side this high country guys is equipped with the c71 off-road package that gives you uh, off-road rancher tuned shocks we have skip plates on the bottom as well we have this wrangler goodyear wranglers uh, basically all-terrain tires that come with the 20 inch wheels already of course we got this is uh, basically automatic deploying running warts as well they're kind of stuck in right now as you can see guys but yeah we have rancho suspension all around the off-road tune suspension you also got basically trail control as well and hill descent that's part of that off-road package now this one also is equipped with the deluxe package or the high country deluxe package it gives you a little more fancy stuff the camera system to park the backup a little more cameras a little more gear inside as well uh, but this is an awesome truck nonetheless guys very excited to get behind the wheel of this awesome high country model as you can see guys coming around the, the truck really really nice i love it this one this one that we have here with us is in a summit white which is really awesome it goes well with the chevy it's kind of more of a work truck color but it does work well with all the chrome accents the black linings and all that kind of stuff as you can see because we got steps to get into the bed all over the place chrome handlebars this one, of course, being a 
I basically use this got uh, I would say aftermarket tint because this is pretty dark tint as well you can even see it from the from the outside inside so uh, really cool of course you guys coming here we got the chrome mirrors as well we got the cameras here as well it's got a 360 degree cameras and of course you're coming here, guys you can see the high country model and the Allison transmission Duramax combination that this awesome uh, Silverado has really love the way this looks like this interior wise it's got the black or jet black leather with the umber kind of two-tone leather interior it's got the same kind of bronzy looking leather really really nice the way this truck is for this uh high country you're looking at about a little over eighty one thousand dollars msrp i believe the price barto is asking for this one is 86 just under eighty six thousand dollars i'll put an information you guys up on the screen for you guys so this this truck start around 40 for the regular you know uh wt truck which you know, there are five trim levels to this high uh, high duty models you got the wt you got the custom you got the lt ltc and then going to the high country if you get the rest of the burley base uh 2500 start are around 41.5 if i'm correct all the way up to this you know almost like 86 000, 87 000 if you fully fully option off everything like on these trucks you can get pretty much close to 90 000 in one of these trucks as well so not cheap as well now of course i used driven the competition the ford f250 king wrench that i just had on my channel a few days ago or just last year i can say that now uh basically it's the same type of thing you know basically 22 and Two model 22 not really much changes to the well actually ford's getting a redesign for the 2023 model the f250 this high country guys or this chevalier uh, models i don't think i don't know if it'll, it'll be it'll be more of a mid-cycle refresh or a fifth generation uh silverado because obviously for 2024 is when chevrolet is really umping up the amps of, a, of a exterior redesign and then a much needed interior redesign as well and it's going to have more features a little more power i'll put that in for a little more information guys as soon as we get i get to drive a more higher one but we won't see a 2023 actually we're probably going to see a 2024 uh, HD model coming up probably by mid year as well if we get my hands on one as soon as I can. So, but this is an awesome truck nonetheless, guys. So let's go ahead and get well, started. Now this one guys being the uh, country, of course you get this 20 inch wheels. It's a really nice 20 inch wheels. These are wrapped around 275 millimeter Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain tires. Those are really nice aggressive tires. Now of course this having the 76 T71 off-road package, you get Rancho off-road tune shocks. This has got skid plates as well. You got hill descent control. And of course you got the all-terrain tires that come along with this this one as well now part of this package as well guys i'm gonna see if we can open this up it's not gonna open but if we open the door we do have self-deploying running boards as well as you can see guys this is part of that package and just taking a quick look as you can see that's an awesome interior that this one has really really it's cool easier. coming out to the back as you can see we got some more red rancho shocks there as you can see i don't know if the camera's gonna pan it but we have red rancho shocks here of course we got the solid axle here in the back really nice looking good here as you can see guys really nice i love the wheels as well those aluminum wheels are really nice all right coming here to the back of this chevrolet heavy duty guys let's go ahead and just show you here the key we got open close we got remote start and we do have a double click to open up the tailgate doors you can see guys automatically comes down which is really nice feature obviously it does not go up automatically like the one in the four but at least it gives you at least automatic down so coming here guys after this i believe it's an eight foot bed i'm from correct i'll correct that information up if not incorrect guys for how long how big this bed is obviously as you can see guys this has got a really nice protection here already it's got already embed spray liner already from the factory it says high country there as well so this is this already comes with this high country um hd trucks as well as you can see really nice the way this feels i see we got here a lot of cup cup color connections that are ready to go here as well as some led lighting for the bed on each side here and we do have as well a three house or a house prong connection here a three prong connection here ready to go guys unlike the ford f-50 which didn't have any connections in the rear which is kind of surprising this chevrolet does offer those as well so as you can see guys this is a pretty good size bed i believe the towing or the payload capacity on this bed is about 4500 pounds i'll correct that information for you guys or i'll put in for information for you up on the screen uh, so it's got plenty of plenty of payload obviously being a heavy duty truck and if we go ahead and raise this uh bed door here guys pretty simple pretty easy to do very light as you can see we got a reverse camera here and a light as well and of course it's really really nice what Chevrolet has done now as you can see this is already to insert your, your basically your towing connection here as well basically your tow hook your receiver hitch now this truck is uh made this uh this 2500 hd is uh i believe uh rated to about 18,500 pounds i'll put that information for you guys up on the screen obviously if you go to the 3500 you can tow about 36,000 pounds but this one being the 2500 hd you know you're only around about 18.5 if i'm correct i'll put those all those information for you guys up on the screen so as you can see guys we also have some more steps here on the side to get into your bed here really it makes it easier for you although this is not having any, any steps like the that the ford does but this step does definitely help you you ought to get into the bed easier and as well you got one more here on the side as well so if you just want to put your step here 
and he's with me i just step here and just get up here and get stuff from your bed as you can see guys so really awesome to do we've got a little, of course we got your little one in here that's powered as well and uh there we go it's really awesome the way this chevy is set up all right guys before going on, let's go ahead and check out what's powering this heavy duty truck here let's go ahead and check out that duramax diesel and coming here to the front of this heavy duty guys gonna just pop the hood there thank you chevrolet for including some hood shocks as well here to help you out with the racing of this hood all right so here we have the 6.6 .6 liter turbocharged v8 diesel the duramax diesel this is producing 445 horsepower and 910 pound feet of torque of course this is going to a 10 speed allison automatic transmission and this is going to the all wheel the four wheel drive system that this chevrolet has which you can switch between two wheel drive rear wheel drive or all wheel drive or four wheel drive or four x four systems as you can do guys so this is really awesome truck not as powerful as for example the ford's uh power stroke diesel obviously that's got over a thousand a thousand fifty this has got 910 so i'm sure that chevy's gonna put a little more power for the 2024 models that are coming up by in a few months but it's still a fantastic power plant you know lots of very very strong engine as well well the other regular engine you can get is the 6.6 .6 liter normally aspirated v8 that that's just that's the one that i drove on my on the other heavy duty truck that i drove from a, a little bit a while ago all right guys there we go there's your power plant for this basically heavy duty truck let's go ahead and let's get that this is a little high here trying to struggle there to get that down let's go ahead guys and because I need open right front door to give us a little more lighting inside because it's kind of quite dark so uh checking out all the interior of this heavy duty high country truck as you can see guys this is uh this has got the black what they call the jet black umber two-tone leather interior which is really nice kind of like a dark creamish uh leather color with the black as well we get a bit of a wood accent kind of it feels kind of fake wood but obviously all we call fox wood but everything's really nice really nice the way it feels lots of cubicles to put in your stuff got a speaker here now coming here guys of course into the interior of course you got your automatic running board that's here we got also some carpets here as well now of course guys come here to the main seating area as you hope you can see guys really really nice the way this is uh we got the order really nice leather we got the rear opening of course of the, of the of the rear window here we don't have any sunroof on at all that's kind of interesting i thought i thought that this one be might be offered with a sunroof, but it's not i guess but coming here go back to the to the to the uh, seats guys here really lots of space you can definitely see to put the seats up for more room there's a little more room here of course you can do that there is a little bit of a kind of kitty cubicles as well here for the seats you can see a little more storage fish here in the back kind of hidden so it's really really cool guys the way this is i believe you can might also be able to put this up down i don't think so but here we got also center armors here to put your drinks as well as you can see really really nice the leather feels very soft and really nice as well and i really love the black headliner as well but let's go ahead guys and uh, step in here quickly let's check out the room so as you can see guys very very roomy truck really really nice the way this is um yeah you can tell there's the, the, the there's a dance to open up the sunroof i guess this was not equipped with it so i guess you might be able to take that feature off so you can see guys really nice the way everything feels the leather seat just goes up and down really quick for the, for the, for the front passenger we got pockets here in the bottom a couple of extra cup holders here as you can see as well we got seat heaters as well for these back seats you, uh ac outlets and we have usb connections and of course on a 12 volt connection there as well i don't have this this goes out any other way but everything else is really nice led lighting here on the top and excellent as well as you can see guys here's the uh all the interior of this rest of the truck sorry it's, it's off i don't have it on but i uh, really nice very roomy as you can see guys i'm about a 511 and there's still plenty of seating here plenty of about two three inches here of space here as well to still for some more room as well and i don't think the seats are adjustable at all anywhere aft just basically that's the way they are but very comfortable interior nonetheless in this heavy duty high country model of this heavy duty truck love this nice silver auto so all right guys let's go ahead guys and uh get to the front all right let's go ahead and jump inside of this driver's side uh chevrolet silverado 2500 high country model you can see it's really nice interior i love this leather it looks really nice this cream color this two-tone is really really nice of course we got some of that fox wood trim here as well aluminum on the door handle of course we got a couple of settings for your uh, memory seats these are 10-way power seats here for both front seats power windows of course locks and everything here as well and of course we got the boat system here as well for this uh, seven speaker boat system that's included in this high country model as you can see it's really nice we got the high country skid plate here as well the seats are really nice you can see guys here we got the perforated seats two-tone leather seats here as you can see really really nice the way that is we got the high country logo embroidered here on the set rest really awesome the way it looks i'm kind of shocked that this does not have a sunroof on it or at least i see the i see the, the intentions on that so i don't know if this might might have not got option off or this has option off now i don't know if this is an option or not because i tried to put together one on the website i didn't see anything for a sunroof i might have missed it but if not i'll put that information for you guys on the bridge screen i'm sure you can get a sunroof on this one 
at least a regular one, not a panoramic like the Ford, but obviously the Ford uh, Chevrolet doesn't really offer any panoramics on any other things, if I'm correct. Uh, but I'm sure it's gonna change for the new uh, trucks that are coming up as well. So all right, let's go ahead, guys. And uh, also before we go, of course, here we got basically modes for your trailer, trailer modes. Of course, we got automatic for your stuff here, for your lights and your mirrors and all that kind of stuff. Of course, we got controls here for your bed and all that kind of stuff here as well, to lighting controls and the parking brake, as you can see, guys, here we got a manually tilting in telescope and steering wheel. I'd be, and I'm kind of surprised I don't have a an electronic manual until the until the telescope as the Ford does. This is basically all manual. But as you can see, it's really nice. All kinds of leather here as well, aluminum trim, and uh, really, really nice. So, alright, let's just go ahead and uh, jump in. The truck, as you can see, it's really, really nice interior. Now, you guys can see it's a little dark in here. Let's see some of the sun is helping up a little bit, but really nice interior. I really love the seats. Really, really nice. Love the way this all feels. That's got good quality to it. I love the black head in there as well. So, as you can see, guys, we got all kinds of things. We got, of course, uh, home link here. As you can see, we got the opening of the rear uh, trim or the rear window as well. Before we go on, let's go ahead, guys, and get this model started. I got the key with me here. Let's go ahead and uh, press the brake and hit the start stop. As you can see, very fancy truck here. As you can see, guys, let's get it. The wheel straighten, wheel straighten up a little bit here, and I'm just gonna go ahead and back up and adjust the seat a little bit here, guys. Everything's powered, of course, here on this tape went ting way power seats. All right, guys, so we have everything turned now. As you can see, really nice interior. I love the, the, the of course, the leather, the two-tone feels really nice. Of course, this is an older style of, uh, you know, basically dash. Obviously, the new 2024. Uh, heavy duty truck will have the whole redesigned dash like similar to the 1500 silverado that's a 2022 model so this is really going to change completely for next year so but it's still a very functional and a very nice interior that this heavy duty truck still has so let's go ahead guys uh, before we close the door and get a little more quietness let's go ahead and uh, rev up a little bit of that duramax diesel doesn't feels like it doesn't really like the for me to rev it here but like at least here the, the the duramax diesel a little bit doesn't uh, like to be wrapped, but a little bit helps. You can hear that engine, guys. So really, really nice. You can see, guys. All right, let's go ahead and close the door. Get a little more quietness. I'm going to just open up the windows a little bit. They have a little more light. And as you can see, guys, there's the, the, course, the door on the running board. You can hear them get back into the into the chassis. Let's go ahead and put on our seatbelt, guys, before we're going to go on for a quick drive on this Chevrolet. Why don't we have a, we don't have a ton of gas? Now, of course, just okay. a little bit quick review of this interior. Of course, we got the double glove box here, as you can see. Really, really nice. Really nice. Uh, plenty of space here for the stand. You get a little more storage screen here on the top. Really love the way those, all this feels. The leather feels all around. Really, really nice. Now, of course, as we got here, Chevrolet uh, System 3. They're basically their uh, onboard system. Let's go ahead and just uh, drop. And I think we're running something here. Because I feel, let me see, we're going to get some seat coolers as well going. As you can see, we had ventilated seats as well. We got seat heaters as well. On this front seats, we got uh, heated steering wheel. As you can. All kinds of great features as this Chevrolet gives you here. So we go, guys, we go back to the screen here. As you can see, guys, we got home. We got, uh, oh, we got home here. We got audio, phone, navigation, all kinds of wise by hotspots. Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. And as you can see, it's really easy to operate. They got a training room information, as you can see. If you want a trailer stuff, checklist, all kinds of fantastic things that this gives you. Now, this is being the higher top 10. This is the deluxe package. It gives you a lot of more things. You can, you know, got an on star services. You got a cameras as well, guys. You can see we got the rear camera. Oh, excuse me, this is the front camera, as you can see. Gives you all kinds of angles. Then we got the rear camera angling down. Of course, we got the, the, the 360 degree camera. So all kinds of fantastic angles. As you can see, guys, there's a whole truck, which is awesome. The way that's kind of visualizing. We got the side mounts here. And we got a little more. Of course, we got the bed as well, the bed camera. And of course, we got the hitch camera there as well. Lots of cameras, guys. You can see, guys, for reverse. And of course, we got trajectory lines as well. But of course, we got uh, physical buttons here for your radio as well. Let's go back home here. We'll turn off the camera and where did I put that button there? So as you can see, it's really easy to navigate the system. Really, really nice, quick and to the touch and everything as well. So we got this one is equipped with a seven speaker bow system as well, which sounds really nice. Uh, let's hear that system. Really good bass. Very, very nice system. You see guys, so all kinds of information. You also got navigation as well. So that gives you the gives a good connection. I guess it's such a new truck hasn't even get connected yet. So so down here we have actual physical buttons guys to change stations to go home, back, and all that kind of which is awesome because we got the dual zone AC. And uh, of course, as I mentioned, we got heated in cool seats as well, and then heated steering wheel. We do have basically here brake control, brake, brake exhaust brake. We got stability. We got parking brake sensors and the parking assist as well. We got the basically to put down your bed door hazards. We got basically looks like uh, stability off if I'm correct. Hill descent. Uh, I'll put that off. Uh, we got trailer. 
emotes and of course we got i can't tell guess i'm gonna put that in there what that is but other than that guys we got here your trailer remote control here as well we got usb connections 12 volt and another, another three prong connection here as you can see guys my cell phone is uh charging wires as you can see you got a wireless charging pad and a little more here as well cup holders and then we've raised this up we got a couple of more usb connections an sd card connection and an auxiliary connection as well which is awesome and i guess somebody didn't i don't see a little tray here but you can definitely put that little tray which is missing here but it will have a ton of space for the interior so you can see it's really cool the way this is all leather two-tone here and that's pretty much the back here really cool now go back here up here guys we do have the little here for the rear window home link here as you can see guys all kinds of controls for your on star system and you just press that to turn on all your lights and of course you got mirrors really really cool i mean really well equipped truck now coming here to the front guys of course we got the really nice leather covered steering wheel as you can see uh we got basically radio we got information for the truck we got home as well we got a, a digital speedometer 57 miles to go to empty and because you've got an analog speedometer and tachometer uh, going back to uh, for example uh all kinds of information as we we'll scroll down we got you know how much uh, gas we got we got their engine hours all kinds of great information what's the the transmission fluid trailer brake we got also you know basically the tool the two wheel driver forward drive system or the angles we got that the ef and a lot of information guys speed and low all the great information guys that you kind of just go back guys and leave it in basically let's go leave it here guys as well so i can check out the mileage now as you can see guys this has 4900 basically just under four two miles under 45 4500 miles so still basically a brand new truck to be honest so i uh, really love the way this feels of course this has got all kinds of safety information that's part of the also the high deluxe package you get all kinds of uh you know uh, driver assist and you know like uh, basically automatic braking you get lane assist uh, lane control all kinds of great things that that we see as well now of course guys if you come up here we have our electronic mirror as you can see guys this is a little screen here that's showing what's happening in the rear you can definitely switch that to regular but basically this is an awesome option i love this it's got a little camera which is very clear and just kind of points to the back which is awesome i really love this feature as well of this basically camera mirror as you can see a really awesome feature to see, have just, uh, taking so, a little more pen here of this interior very good visibility as well with the lights even though this has got the darker tint uh still the visibility is really nice in this truck really love the way this little uh, basically the colors that are this i don't know if there's any i don't know if there's any uh let's check out if we see any type of i don't think this has got part of spotify as well amazon alexa wow it's super cool so we got all kinds of great information guys here as you can see but uh really cool i'm trying to also look for any type of um uh no guys we got spotify amazon alexa all kinds of things now guys i thought i was looking for some ambient lighting but i don't think this has any ambient lighting but i'm sure the updated one will have as well so all right let's go ahead guys and put our transmission here and uh let's go on to drive all right guys so before we go on we have of course here our little driving mode there's only two modes as you can see guys we have basically off normal and off road uh so we just switch back to no we're on trailering as well we're gonna take that off and let's go back to normal mode so obviously you guys here controls for your automatic we'll put it on auto basically for your two road all wheel drive and we got basically four high four low and two wheel drive so we just left it on automatic so let the truck do all right let's thing. go ahead let's guys go ahead. and head out on this chevrolet silverado 2500 and we are on drive let's go ahead guys and give yourself a, a u-turn and let's see how good of this u-turn this thing is if we'll make it yeah i think we won't make it yeah it does it's the trucks are big heavy trucks a big truck so it does take a little bit to turn this in around i might switch it back to two-wheel drive guys i think it'll be better because that way we don't have uh yeah we're back to two-wheel drive so we have a little bit less gas because we have a ton of gas a very good feeling truck obviously the suspension is stiff obviously you know this is going to be a little bit rough riding truck but obviously we got some rancho off-road shocks that's going to help on that feel to bounce here at least to crazy we'll test them out in just a few i think this is the first time i'm ever riding on rancho shocks so bear with me guys here but i really love the way this interior again i got the windows down a little bit guys because this is pretty dark in here just to give you a little more lighting where we're actually uh going this way so let's go out let's go this way guys here and check out yeah nice torque nice torque not as torquey as the uh, power stroke feels but obviously this is still a good feeling truck that feels really nice this transmission is very smooth uh really nice truck i love the mirror that rear mirror looks fantastic gives you such a good clearance much better than a rear view mirror so yeah the truck feels heavy obviously it's a big truck you know this is a you know heavy duty truck yes we're uh low on fuel my friend but not too bad i 
So that's 53 miles to go. So we only do a few miles after just to feel get a feel of this truck and see how this heavy duty feels compared to the uh to the Ford F250 that I test drove. So really cool. Let's go ahead guys. Alright. Yeah, she goes. She's got some power. Oh yeah, very, very nice power. Let's put up the windows, guys. Yeah, it is. It is. It does get windy. It's gonna get a little dark, guys. I apologize, but this has got some heavy tint. This truck, but really nice the way this feels. Very, very nice. I mean, the steering wheel is very smooth. Uh, the truck rides really nice. A little bit actually, it does feel a little bit better, more refined than the F250. It kind of feels it off the pants. Uh, I'm not sure. Obviously, we got empty trucks, so these trucks don't ride very good when they're empty. These heavy duty trucks, especially with some off-road twin shocks or something like that. But it does feel very nice, though. I really like the way this feels. The brakes. The brakes have some good power. They're not as, as uh, they don't have the confidence feeling as the Fords, but this is still a good, 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 uh, this have some very good stopping power does. So really nice truck, guys. You can see, guys, this 2023 Chevrolet 2500 heavy duty truck. Obviously, this is still the older interior, but this is still very, very functional. You can see, guys, uh, we got all kinds of uh, amenities in here. You can see the hood from here as well. So let me just show you guys. This is a big truck, so we got to maneuver correctly. So we get a put a little bit of foot in it yeah very smooth i mean this thing just so the transmission the awesome transmission is so smooth yeah the suspension it is it is stiff you can feel a lot of the bumps but this thing is a little bit intimidating this thing feels like a little bit bigger than the ford f250 which probably is not but this thing does feel like it takes up the whole road uh and especially with these huge mirrors you feel like you're like a feels like you know elephant ears so but uh really cool really awesome the way this is a very good truck i mean it still is, you know, this still feels refined. There's no squeaks. No, really. If you see, if you hear a little bit of squeak, it's the rear plate that I have on, guys. It's on the on the rear uh, rear mirror. I mean, excuse me, it's on the rear uh, mirror, uh, windows as in the back. But uh, this still feels really good. I mean, it's got good power, and we're doing 60. Very refined. The steering feels pretty straight, very relaxed. Not like we're bouncing around. Yeah, suspension is good. I mean, obviously not in a bumpy road. This is just a regular road. But I mean, obviously, if road Florida roads kind of suck, but. Uh, this feels very nice very refined truck wow really impressive it's pretty quiet too i mean the engine is obviously if you give a little bit we're doing about 70. Uh, 69 as you can see there guys and it's just yeah, it's, it's quiet a little bit of wind noise but no road noise no really there's more windows than road noise uh but man this thing feels nice very nice very impressive with this uh this uh heavy duty truck obviously guys you know we also have the Sierra Twin Sister, of course, GMC Sierra, which is also the same thing as this. Obviously, got a little more different leather and a little bit different trims, but obviously the same sister truck, the GMC Sierra. But obviously, this is an awesome truck. I mean, really nice. I really love the way this feels. Uh, very refined. The, 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 power, the Duramax feels very nice in power. If you give a little bit of beans here, as you can see, guys, it does get up to speed very easily. Now, I'm going to floor it completely because we don't have a ton of gas, but very, very good torque obviously not as torquey as oh, it doesn't feel as quick as the uh ford P power stroke diesel but this is still got pretty plenty of power and it's probably, obviously we're empty so it's not gonna go super quick but really really, really nice truck obviously it does feel very nice uh i kind of feeling this right a tiny bit better than the ford uh but this is kind of really nice i guess the, the retro shocks do that make a difference uh it doesn't feel as jittery as you know as of this truck usually feel this is pretty pretty nice to be honest uh, and yeah, there's a speed, you know, you can't really tell the speed. It's got, it's pretty quiet. There's a bit of, well, as I mentioned, wind noise, but there's no road noise from the tires or anything like that. Wow, pretty impressive truck, to be honest. Now, as you can see, guys, everything here at your fingertips. I love this big buttons here, as you can see. Uh, very nice truck, really nice. Everything. I wish we had a sunroof, it gives a little more light, but I guess that's not the point. But uh, that seems feels, you know, at speed, it feels very, very straight. It doesn't feel, you know, like a big truck. It is intimidating, of course, at the size, but very nice truck, guys. Really, really impressive. As you can see, guys, we got the speedo there. We can also put, of course, you can put here your nab. I'm sure it hasn't been connected yet, but uh, very awesome the way this truck feels at all. I've been really, really impressed with this 
heavy duty truck as you can see guys so uh, let me know what you guys think uh, if you guys have enjoying this type of contact with the POV drive of this heavy duty truck this high country you know heavy duty truck from Chevrolet obviously this is uh, you know part of Bartow Ford's inventory but you know this this is a very good truck not, it's very impressive very nice feels very refined oh look at that nice Mustang there it's going on very very nice refined Mustang look at that classic Mustang guy it's really really nice car it's com looks like a convertible too so let me know what you guys think of this heavy duty uh, Chevrolet F F200 2500 really nice truck I mean it drives really nice very impressive the way it drives I uh, love the way it feels it's a big truck I mean not crazy about this styling but I think this it does work for this kind of truck and of course it's going to get slightly restyled for 2024 but uh, let me know guys in the comments what do you guys think of this Chevrolet F the Chevrolet 2500 HD. I really like the way this feels. Obviously, here we got back in a lot here, and of course we got the F 250s with the competition. But really, really love the way this truck feels as well. So we got the missionless parking guys here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, you know, quick review of this heavy duty truck. Really nice what Chevrolet has done. It still feels really nice. I mean, it's still refined. Obviously, uh, very good, you know, truck for hauling, and especially in this much higher trim of this high country interior leather interior. So, all right, guys, let me know what you guys think. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so much for all that has subscribed. We are on our way to 1,000 subscribers, guys. If you haven't done so, please share the video or like the video, comment, and uh, subscribe if you haven't done it, guys. I appreciate every one of you. Happy New Year again, once again, guys. Once again, a big thank you to Bartow Ford. You guys have a fantastic afternoon, evening, or morning where you are at what time you're watching this. And we'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care. Bye bye.